Uh, my name is Hari Nair. Uh, I'm the founder and CEO of Holiday IQ, uh, which is India's first and largest travel community and travel information uh, portal. Are you a regular attendee at Focusrite or is this your first Focusrite? First time. First time? Yes. How have you got on? Wonderful. So it's, it's been a really good experience. Um, I think I thank the Focusrite team in India who kind of encouraged me to come for this one. Uh, you know, it's just been great and I met a lot of people, sat in a lot of those fascinating interviews and presentations. On the whole, very satisfied. So something I hear about Focusrite time and time again is it's, it's the presentations are, you know, very impressive, very high level but it's also the networking and the people that you get access to here. Absolutely, I think, uh, uh, you know, uh, just hanging around in this room uh, and just bumping into folks, some of whom I know from before, some of whom I don't, uh, it just gives you tremendous perspective. Um, and of course, you get to know those folks because you have, you know, food with them and just hang out with them, that's great. So 2016, first time ever, Focus Writers coming to India. That's a good thing, I'm guessing? Oh, absolutely, I mean, you know, and if it's, uh, you know, even a fraction of this uh, crowd comes to India, uh, I think uh, the Indian ecosystem will definitely benefit. Uh, and of course, the India has a lot to give to all of these people here. So I think it's a win-win. I think it's great. So there's obviously a big travel tech scene happening in India at the moment. So it's obviously why Focus Right have made the decision. Yeah. Tell me about what's happening there. Well, I think travel suddenly picked up again uh, in India. There was a lull over a couple of years. Uh, I think there are three or four more fundamental innovations happening in that market. Uh, budget accommodation has suddenly become a huge uh, area of innovation. Uh, and it's all being uh, driven by technology. Uh, so the likes of OYO and ZO and so on. Uh, I think the uh, traditional OTAs are getting into the game uh, now. Uh, and I think they're going to you know, take the game to the next level. Uh, and then there's guys like us who have products that have you know, similar uh, international sort of uh, comparisons, but are being executed in a very different way in India. So I think uh, you know, lots of innovation across multiple things, um, lots of fun. And last question, there's been a lot of, um, I suppose there's been a connection over many years between India and North America. So a lot of travel technology was developed by companies in India for American companies. A lot of India, Indian companies came over to Silicon Valley, whereas now we've almost come full circle. I think so. Uh, I think today, uh, the good news for travel in India is that I think travel tech in India now is being entirely done for the Indian consumer. Uh, completely from the Indian consumer focus uh, and that's being mirrored by the huge growth of the Indian consumer getting online. Uh, so the latest numbers suggest that we now have more people online or equal number of people online as the US uh, and that's set to grow. Uh, so I think that's a good thing uh, and I think there are things that can be learned from there that can be applied in other parts of the world. Uh, yeah, you're right. So it is, it is a full circle.